Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to take a look at a paper from the upcoming Operating System Design and Implementation Conference. And this paper looks at what it would take to build a Linux storage stack that can achieve really fast microsecond level latency as well as high throughput. The goal is to be able to achieve microsecond scale latency on a system that is loaded with both latency sensitive as well as throughput bound application. And you want to be able to do this in a way that both classes of applications get what they want. The latency sensitive applications get quick responses and the throughput bound applications are able to pump throughput close to or at hardware capacity. Now this has typically been a very tough problem to solve. This paper starts by looking at what are the problems with Linux's current block storage stack which make this a hard problem to solve and then looks at how to re-architect that stack in order to achieve this kind of low latency and high throughput. To spoil the ending, the key design insight being proposed in this paper is to treat the block storage layer essentially like a network switch and bring to bear all the techniques that are used to make network switches faster to the design of this block storage stack. We should note that the underlying hardware trend that is causing this to be such a difficult problem is that both storage and networking have improved by orders of magnitude in the last decade or so in terms of their performance. However, single core CPU performance has largely tailed off with advances in CPUs coming mostly from increasing core count. This means that modern storage and networking hardware can very easily saturate CPUs if they are to keep up. Quick note on terminology, this paper refers to latency sensitive apps as L apps and throughput bound apps as T app. So let's start by looking at what about Linux's current storage stack makes it so difficult to achieve low tail latency at the same time as high throughput. One of the major problems is head offline blocking, which is a performance limiting phenomena that occurs when a block that you want to be processed faster is waiting on the processing of another block. So for example, when a block from a latency sensitive app is waiting in a queue to be processed behind a block from a throughput sensitive app. The conceptual issue is that getting this right in the kernel needs three different layers, the compute layer, the storage layer, and the network layer to work in concert. And that is really difficult due to various competing priorities. For example, the authors found that even when one latency sensitive app competes with one throughput bound app, tail latency increases by as much as seven times, where the baseline is the simplest case of just one latency sensitive app running all by itself on the machine. If you look at user space stacks like SPDK, they are able to achieve low latency and high throughput under very specific and ideal conditions. Things like when each application is running on a dedicated core. When there's contention, when there's multiple applications sharing a core, even SPDK is not able to maintain both low latency and high throughput. If you simply prioritize the latency sensitive apps, that results in the throughput sensitive apps almost completely starving. So what we see is that with the existing stack, there are some fundamental design issues which prevent us from getting low latency and high throughput at the same time. The authors in this paper are proposing a design which they called block switch, which takes design ideas from network switches. The important thing to note about the solution is that 
it does not require any application level or source code changes. It works with the kernel's existing system calls as they are. It does depend on applications being able to tell the kernel what kind of application they are, whether they care more about latency or more about throughput. But there are existing system calls like IONICE that already allow you to do this. Linux's current block layer uses an architecture which has a per core queue. So the idea is that all requests submitted by any application running on a specific core are processed on that same core. The problem with this per core queue is this tight coupling between request processing and the application's demands on the same core. For example, if you have one core that is overloaded and another one that isn't, this doesn't allow you to move the queue processing over to the underloaded core. So the first crucial design idea from block switch is to decouple request processing from the application core on which that request was generated. And the way they do this is by essentially having two sets of queues to process blocks. They have a request queue or an ingress queue and then another set of queues called egress queues. Requests come into the ingress queue but then they can be steered to any of the other cores egress queues and this is very similar to how network switches internally work this allows you to spread the load across all the cores and efficiently utilize all of them another advantage of having these two separate sets of queues the ingress queues and the egress queues is that it allows you to try different load balancing strategies. Another advantage of having these two sets of queues, the ingress queues and the egress queues, is that it maps perfectly to modern storage and networking hardware because each of the egress queues gets mapped to a unique queue in the underlying hardware. Most modern networking and storage devices have a decent number of queues on the device itself and these queues are exposed to the kernel via the device driver. The authors have implemented this and they've run some benchmarks. They've compared it both with the current Linux storage architecture as well as user space stacks like SPDK. And here you can see in their benchmarks that as you increase the number of latency sensitive apps, block switch can give you both microsecond scale tail latencies as well as high throughput for throughput sensitive apps, even with a lot of contention and a high number of latency sensitive apps. Linux is able to get good throughput, but its tail latency suffers. So this was a quick look at a new design proposal for Linux's block storage architecture that tries to achieve both low tail latency as well as high throughput in the presence of a lot of contention with the key design idea being treating the block storage layer essentially like a network switch by having two sets of queues, ingress queues and egress queues, and also mapping the egress queues to queues in the underlying hardware. And with that, they were able to achieve that goal of low latency and high throughput. Another thing to note is that the authors were able to do this without any code or application level changes as there were no changes to the system call interface. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.